If he tells you something, be of good courage. Don't let him see you sweat. Amen. Making the wise the simple. All the while you see, we're made from primordial slime. And as a matter of fact, we better change that because there's some comet dust came down here. We came from that. We may have come from Mars. All kind of crazy stuff's out there. Just believe what God said. The statues of the Lord are right. What's she talk about? Wait a minute, she's talking about some rejoicing, did she? What really rejoices the soul? That's why she can talk about some rejoicing. The statues of the Lord are right. What? Rejoicing the heart. When you think about the goodness of God, you can't help but be get happy. Because yeah. God, he, well, he told you, he said, in my presence, fullness of joy and pleasure forevermore. Now listen to this. You don't have to be dumb either. The commandments of the Lord is what? Pure. What does it do? Enlightening the eyes. Very important. So you can use this eyes sometime when you see 36, 24, 36 looking good, smelling good. His eyes say, uh-uh. Enlighten your eyes so you don't lust. Nothing wrong with looking at a beautiful woman. We got a whole bunch of them in here. But that don't mean you have to lust after them. Put the make on them. Just appreciate the beauty that God has put around you and say, thank you, Jesus. Anybody read the Bible? Let's keep on going now. Now listen now. But man, I got to get my thing on. You see what I'm saying? The Lord, now listen at this. It gets even better. The fear, meaning the respect of God, of the Lord is what? Enduring how many times? Forever. The judgment of the Lord are true. God is not going to judge you out of pocket. He's going to know exactly what he's doing. And righteous. That's why you got to watch who's telling you certain things. I mean, they may have, or they may be, well, that, 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 I've been, I don't mean nothing if it don't line up with the word. Now, see, a lot of times we desire everything but this. Look what the book says. More, Lord, hammer over. Y'all hear what I'm saying? More to be what? Desire are they than gold. Are you listening to what God is saying? Gold. But wait a minute. That's the standard now. If they don't trust the money, invest in gold. Anybody see anything somebody's going to tell about? No, they're out there. Yeah. Then much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Boy, that's all right now. Moreover, by them, if you serve, by them is thy servant warned. Who's talking to you? God will warn you. But I, I know, I know a shortcut. No, you got to go this way. Then you read about a big pile up or something. Or some kind of traffic jam, you'd have never got home. He'll warn you. By the word, you'll hear him. And in keeping them, there is what? Great reward. But no, no, I got to keep my job, and I got to keep this, that, and the other, and I got to keep this, this stuff they told me at the sorority and the fraternity. No, ain't nothing wrong with that, but what did he say going to give you a reward? Keep his word. Because let me explain something to you. You're not going to get in but one way. That's his way. Amen. Can I get your, your little book? John 10, go with me, please. I'm about to put it down. I want to overload your donkey because there's a lot more. I want, I want you to hear this. Very important. Because we know that Satan is a lie and the father of lies. John 8 and 44. You know that. So whatever he's telling you out there in the world, he's going to make you a star and all of this stuff. Nobody can do that but God. Gifts are without repentance. You can run on the head of God, but I guarantee you, I can speak from the experience. You're going to do what he told you to do and what he put in you before you leave his earth. Now he said, John 10 and verse 1, and we're going to read very, very quickly. Verily, verily, surely, surely, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief 
and a robber. What did he call you? You just like Satan. You want to do it your way. That's what he called a thief and a robber, ain't it? John 15, 10, or somewhere around there, he said, you come but to kill, steal, and destroy. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. In other words, he's going to always go before you. He's going to make your pathway straight. And when he makes it straight, nobody can bend it. And if he need to bend your pathway, can't nobody straighten it out. Have y'all read in the Bible over in, 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 in Isaiah? Um, here we go. To him, the porter over. In other words, this guy just tell you what you want to hear. And the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name. And what did he do? Lead us in. He he going to be right there with you. You know, them other cats, they cut out on you. You see what I mean? Put you out there and then they gone. I know of how many times I've I, 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 I run into young ladies who said they took the rap for their boyfriend. I thought he going to be there to the end. Baby, I ain't going to never leave you. But what have he cut out? And when he put us forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his what? Voice. He talk. And a stranger's voice, you heard us tell that was that. And a stranger's voice, I said a stranger's voice, yes, not the, the voice of strangers. And, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. So don't be judging nobody. You know, a lot of times we judge folks. They ain't, they ain't got no Holy Ghost. They ain't nobody. How you know? God said, you ain't supposed to judge nobody. I don't put you in that character of Romans 2. And other sheep have I which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Why are we underline that? Why do we let everybody tell us anything and we believe it down here? And God said, my word is pure. I speak to you daily. I look out for you. I'm in front of you, not behind you, directing you to do something wrong. I'm in front of you, leading you to me and my Father. Is anybody hearing what God's saying? Therefore do as my Father love me. Why? Because I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I command you. And I have I received of my Father. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Now, that take us out of study all that. But now, 27, that's where we're going to stop at it now. It says, my sheep. Ain't no doubt about that. Hear my voice. And what else he said? And I know them. And they follow me. So you, you, you can't jive him, you can't con him, you can't bring no junk. I'm sorry, either you is or you ain't. That was the song back that said, either you is my baby or you ain't. I, that, that's, that's pretty cool. So God said, I ain't, I ain't taking no, no half step in here. Either you are or you are not. And too many times we think that I, I got to be somebody that's been in the church 40 years or I can say something to somebody that he done told me. I can say whatever God told me. But here, I'm going to show you a little neophyte. He was blind. Y'all know about the story, don't you? We're going to spend a little time. Now, John 9, he was a neophyte. He ain't know nothing about God. But look what he said. And let's go to the ninth chapter of John. I'm going to read a few verses very hurriedly. And Jesus, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was Blind from birth. Now here come his disciples sometimes, like us do try to judge folks because they minister high and high and they walk in and sit down. Throw a sheet over and, and, and tell them, you know, whatever. Just don't, don't, don't judge anybody. You don't know what they've been through. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? That he was born blind. A lot of times God 
will give you a special child because he thinks you can handle it. Jesus answered, neither has this man sinned, 